Go on then! I have a new camera! <gasps> this is so different. I can see myself. I'm sorry if I'm, I keep looking with it because I can see myself. It's so weird. But you know, in honor of um, having a new camera that I can see myself, I put on lipstick. <laughs> oh, this is so different. This, this is so awesome. This is so cool. You can actually show the things. Anyway, okay, okay. What was I saying? <clears throat> now I'm flushed I can see myself. Ah. Okay. Go on, Dain. My name is Gunnildur. I am an Icelander live in Iceland, and this is my project pile number uh, 24, I think. Um, and I have a new camera <laughs> that, you know, my old one, but mm, I love it. It's a fan, it's so, mm. it is fantastic for taking photos, um, which obviously I'm gonna do more of now that I have this one. And you can take videos with my old one, like obviously I've been posting videos on YouTube um, with a actual, you know, camera. But it only allowed me to take like 10 minutes maximum, sometimes less. And it would just cut me out without warning. Yes, suddenly I would be like talking, I would just be expressing myself, talking about something interesting, hopefully. And suddenly I just said like, Shorter sound. This one, on the other hand, um, it allows me to speak for five hours. Going from ten minutes to five hours is just. I'm probably not going to speak that long, probably. Um, I will not say that I won't speak that long, but I kind of doubt it. But. So cool! So cool! And I actually. Oh, I. Almost forgot what I was going to talk about because camera. Yeah, Alright, sorry. <clears throat> if you're new here, yeah, I do always. I rumble. I rumble a lot. But the podcast is not about me. I almost said this podcast is not about me rumbling, but this podcast is me rumbling. <laughs> it is not about cameras or. Um, you know, something, anything about that. Um, it's actually about yarn. It's about knitting and crocheting. It's about what I've been working on, what I'm cast on, and you know, when I actually do manage to finish something, which has not happened for the past weeks and does not happen this week. So, um, hey. but I did put in a itty bitty work. Like, oh, I, I did manage. Couple more rows on my cocoon cardigan. You can see the texture now. And I can see only the texture. See? Isn't that cool? Do excuse me, uh, my nails. Um, I put on nail polish yesterday and it's chipping, but the color is pretty, so I didn't take it off. But look! This is gonna be so cool when this is done! I love the fabric. That, that. Mm, because this yarn, it's just so. Mm. The yarn I'm using is this ice yarns. It was a winter sale. It's not available anymore. So sorry. Um, I do have in total four packages, and. These will all go into my cocoon cardigan, and I will link the pattern down below because this is such an easy pattern. Original for Lion Brand, but it, it, it isn't on their webpage anymore, but it is on the fantastic Mrs. Emma on her page. Because she was a wonderful human being, and she put it there, so thank you. Um, in the basic, this cocoon cardigan is, is a real big rectangle. You crochet, and um, then you uh, do some very very simple sewing, and you end up with a lovely little cardigan. I do have. I mean, it's a little bit on, but a little bit on is a little bit on. It's gonna be so cool. Um, so this is the lengthwise. It's about a meter in length, which I think is about like thirty nine inches. My tape is somewhere over there. I. 
can't see it. I think it's about 39, 39 half, half inch. Um, and it will be about the same lengthwise. Then you fold it over and you sew a little bit on the sides and then you have a cocoon cardigan with a collar. You can see, it's gonna be so cute. And it's in lilac and it's a wonderful, wonderful color. Um, what is the composition again? This is a 50% wool, 30% acrylic and 20% polyamide. I can see your label. I can see the label. Oh. Everything is warm. Will it focus? It does. Cool. It does auto focus. That's so cool. I'm sorry. But. Having a camera that auto focuses so I can actually show the labels is so cool, it's so cool. <sighs> Probably just gonna be geeking over this for the next days. But yeah. Look at the yarn. If I could. Okay. <gasps> so now. See? It does a like bubbly kind of thing. And it's so it's so nice when you're working with like two strands together because they just they just hug together. They just this yarn is just so cute. But yeah, regretfully it isn't on the webpage anymore. So if you have it, congratulations. But uh, if you don't, um, you can always use something else. Like obviously this is not the yarn that Lion Brand started up with. Um, I think their pattern had. Oh boy, um, it has some, some, some yarn. Um, on the webpage, the, uh, the pattern is on. Down below, I think Emma used Karen yarn. I can't remember. I'm sorry, but no, you just use the yarn that you want to use, and you just you adjust the pattern for what you like, which is something that I. I really like this is so simple this is so mm. so the other thing that i'm working on slow and steady wins the race because i am using you know the uh, 12 millimeter knitting needles and uh, the 15 millimeter which you can actually see now is about the circumference of my thumb It's a, it's a bit of a struggle sometimes, but I have gotten this far. Again, pattern down below is uh, from the the it's from Garden Studio. It's on the the Garden Studio page. It is traps. Mm -hmm. It this is a Raglan sweater. It's called Glasso. Um, the original pattern calls for. Drops melody with, if I remember correctly, it's mostly, mostly, mostly alpaca, and it's um, it's this a fluffy, lovely, droopy kind of yarn. So you, when you check out the original pattern, um, the sweater will be like this juicy, droopy kind of thing. I am, however, using ice yarns. It's I keep forgetting what this is called. It's the Merino Chunky. They are currently out of the white, but they do have several colors, so it's good. But if I need more white, I am <laughs> I am kind of done for until they get it back in stock. So um, hopefully this will be enough. I do have um, I don't know. um I did order two packs of every color, so um, fingers crossed it's enough. Uh, I am. Um, oh dear, I'm trying to remember. Is it? Two, three, four, five, six, yeah. I am about halfway done with the white stripe, so. Just learn. I am done with all increases. So. 
What I am supposed to do next is knit until this from the collar bit. And down to here is about 25 centimeters. I think I got one or two rounds left until then. Then I will split the um, the count and I will be putting on a another thread for the sleeves and then I will continue with the body. And when I'm done with the white, which isn't all that much left, it's like... I'm trying to think it's about eight centimeters left so I'm, you know a little bit like about here and when I'm done with the white because um, <coughs> I will be take <coughs> excuse me I will next be using this okay. focus gonna be now as I said in the beginning the original pattern uses um, drops melody which is very very droopy and lovely juicy yarn but because I have a lot of ice yarns and I already had an ice yarn order I decided to go with the, the, the this chunk, lovely chunky yarn which I like and if you have if you never tried it I would definitely recommend it because it's lovely I like it um but it's it is a lot more rigid than uh, the melody <clears throat> and it's juicy and it's nice and I can't wait to I can't wait to be done so I can wear it because um weather right now is very let's just say that King Winter is about to arrive. Um September decided to cheer us <laughs> cheer us up in my part of the country with the uh, snow lovely well i'm not complaining it's iceland that's expected like we didn't it was a good summer because we didn't have snow in july that's how you can tell that the summer is pleasant enough so <laughs> anyway so I will be very very happy when I'm done with this sweater because then I can wear it and be like Not today winter, not today. But yeah, all over the place. So um, I am using this Marina Chunky, is that? Yeah, I keep forgetting names, yay! Um, and with this pattern, when you're using Chunky yarn, and um, whether you're using Ice Yarns Merino... Merino? Why do I keep forgetting where it's just as a... Um, yeah. Whether you're using Ice Yarns Merino or you're using Drops Melody, which is also chunky yarn, or maybe some other chunky yarn that you happen to have and suits your purpose, um, the thing is that you use these monsters of knitting needles, and if you have small hands, this type of thing takes a little while because your hands just go. And you can't quite use them, but eh. But this pattern calls for three strands of chunky yarn, which makes it super chunky. So if you don't have small hand problems and your hands don't, don't go wreck after just one round of knitting, um, this type... I forgot to turn my phone off. Go me, I'm so professional. Um, This type of, like, Sweater, you can finish in like no time if you're a cougar knitter than I am. And um, <clears throat> but, oh, I love it, love it, love it. And the colors are gonna be so together, it's gonna be so sweet. Well, mm. now I do have to admit, Lam, um, this is my first Raglan type of sweater. And um, um, when I was doing the increases, just by the color. I didn't do it quite well. I didn't notice. But I have a plan. I'm gonna sew it shut. <laughs> uh, hopefully that's, that's, you know, that'll fix it. Because it's just like, it's, it's these two. So I figure that I can just take a thread and just 
so it's a right <laughs> please don't be mad at me but yeah anyway so with this sweater because i was ordering you know from uh, ice yarns and i didn't know exactly how much yarns your yarns how much yarn i would end up needing um i want to be safe so with every color i ordered two packs so i have two packs of white i have two packs of the origin and uh with the um, light salmon, I also had two packs. You will notice that I am done knitting with the light salmon and I still have a whole pack. I have five whole skeins left. And these a little bit. So I do have quite a bit of yarn left of the Marion Chunky. So Maybe I'll make a like a scarf or a hat or something to go with it. Like because this yarn is so so nice. Where is it? Here we go. Like it's so nice. And it's really soft and just you can see the and the bit. It doesn't really fray, like at all. So it is nice. So yeah, uh, I do have quite a bit left of the light salmon, and I'm figuring that I'm probably gonna make like something other, like wintry things. Definitely have because winter is coming, literally, and I do have quite a bit of yarn to use. So um, let's. Uh, some of the future plans. So, yeah, I am working on the cocoon cardigan, just a little by little. I'm working on my lasso, little by little, because big needle, small hands. I do have other projects that, you know, I do need to work on. But, oh, jolted you. I am trying to, you know, focus. So, still haven't started on the Katla cardigan. I will be using this lovely, lovely Sunscan Swift Mohair. Can you see the label? Look at it! It out of focuses! Lovely! Come here! So these three together. And now you can see, you can actually see the colored, the the depth of color in this yarn. Like, look at the fluffy and look. It's a bright. Look at it. And it's so soft. It's so juicy. So, I still haven't started on that one, but it's there. It's on the plants. Um, my last of the magic light. Wait, what's it called? Yep, magic baby. In the white and pink and neon colorway, I still haven't finished the little blanket. I like it. I love having that, those little granny squares. Just and this one still needs to be worked on. It's gonna be so cute when I finish this one because it's gonna be like a little bit cropped. And it's gonna be so cute with like, like a black dress, you know, any of the, the dresses that I have that I can like summerly on top, but aren't gonna be quite good enough for winter with something like this thrown over. Yes, then I can use them. And it's gonna be so lovely. But yeah, I need to, because this one I am pretty much making up as I go. Um, and I am not the most most experienced in, in knitting, but I do want, because look, this is the bottom part, and I kind of want to repeat it up here, I don't want it to be, I need to figure out what I want to do with but I do want it to be a slightly open, I don't want it to be like, and, 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 this is in the pile. 
And... I am taking full advantage of the fact that I have this camera that I can show you! Oh, here's the wish show with my... Well, I call it the wish show. This is very, it's one of the most simplest patterns of show that I have learned to knit. And I found a ravelry. Um, then we're gonna knit it. <laughs> I am knitting it. I'm gonna link it down below because if you haven't tried this pattern, I at least love it and I really, really hope that you will too because I like it. It's so simple. But anyway, the yarn I'm using is this rainbow line. I got it from this and I'm pretty certain you can find it on like eBay on other pages like definitely. Um, I really really love the colors in this yarn. And I am making this very very simple show. I just love the way the colors turn out. Like it is so pretty. It's also really nice to just grab into. Like this this yarn is your friend. It doesn't I haven't found like how I found a knot in it. Yeah, I found not in one place. In one place. Like, some cakes I've had have had way more knots. This yarn has turned out pretty good. Again, been a little bit on the wayside, you know, on the side of my friends. Because I keep, I keep starting something else. <laughs> but yeah. Oh. Run away yarn. But again, this is one of these things that I'm working on slow and steady. And now I can show you which side, which side, this side. The um, the blanket that I'm making out of the knit craft. Oop, baby brilliance. color and you may have seen in the my stash video that I have quite a few other colors I love this color um, and this has been on my needles for over a year but it will get smacking my glasses of course I do but this will get done one day I love this Seal pan. This pan I got out of the Icelandic book called um, Pluna Biblian or the Knitting Bible. And there it is called, like, I think it's called the Seal Pattern. I have seen it in other patterns, like on Lion Brand, it's, for example, there, there's a very, very pretty. Um, Shawl, scarf, shawl, scarf. A very pretty thing you put around your neck. <laughs> Called feather and fern. Feather and fern, yes. And I really, really want to knit, knit it one of these days. I do have Lion Brand cakes somewhere. I think I, mm, I think it's right over there. And I do have the patterns that I do want to make. Like I have the yarn matched with the pattern. Both from the same company and I can't wait when I get some of this done so I can start on that. But you know the thing about having a thousand one project is that you keep making plans for more things. But it's fun. So my project bag and my project pile. Oh I was also gonna show this one so I can't remember quite where I got the pattern from. Um, I'll see if I can link it. I'm not sure. I can't even remember what the make who, where it's from. I can't remember the name of it. But see, here's the thing. Um, was it the spring? One of my friends from Knit Nights, which unfortunately is still not on, because hey, COVID. Um, 
I saw her post this spring on Facebook on one of the knitting, wrestling knitting pages asking for help about finding a pattern that her sister had actually found a picture of. Okay, so her sister found a picture of a sweater with very, very like, oh, what do you call it in English? Like, um, a little, a little bit like the um, shell pattern, um, that kind of like leafy open knitting very very pretty so her sister found this picture of this sweater or cardigan and she couldn't find the pattern so this friend of mine she posts on facebook both of the picture and just asked for help does anyone know where where i could get this pattern from like obviously to buy it because if you don't buy patterns um okay so People put a lot of work into designing and making patterns and proofing them and making them available. So when you do see a pattern that's really, really lovely and it does cost a little bit, you know, go for it. And then, mm, I do say that, now I'm gonna pretend this story, but I did see, I have seen on Ravelry I have seen a very very simple pattern that even a complete novice as my, such as myself would have been able to make up and the pattern cost it cost twenty dollars for something ridiculously simple and obviously I didn't buy it because why would I? but then you have something like this sweater that has way more going for it way more and it did cost a little bit and I did buy that one because A it was pretty B my friend was asking for it and my sister found it I think well at least my sister commented on it but it might have been someone else but anyway over on tangent this friend of mine has a very very good taste in patterns and she is very very good at all these like Breezy, light, a little bit more complicated patterns. I'm, I must admit, um, like when you have to count anything more than one, two, three, four, my brain gets, I get confused. But I want to try this wear, and it's gonna be a little bit, it's going to be a little bit tricky for me. But I want to try it because it's, it is a challenge, and at the worst, at worst, it will fail. At worst. That's the worst thing. But um the the, the original original sweater was made of like mohair plus all this fancy fancy knitting things. So I as <laughs> same as with um this I didn't order the original yarn. I can't remember what what the yarn was. Might have been drops. I wouldn't be surprised but I already had an order set for ice yarns, so I do have a pen on my computer. I need to get out through my printer when it cooperates with me. Meh. So what I got is this Bermuda mohair in the light brown. I love the autofocus. So. And you know it's mohair. Hope you can see it. <gasps> it has quite a bit of halo. So if I make mistakes, it's going to be very unpleasant to unravel. But I want this writer and I want to make it. So That's on the plant pile. And yeah. Yay! <sighs> I'm so happy. It has now been oh, half an hour. It's half an hour I've been talking and this camera has not shut me off. Ah, so happy. So. <sighs> yeah. So that, that's what I have. Um, I have a new camera that I just I had to show off what I'm working on so you can actually 
see it, it makes me so happy. I can actually show you the yarn, I can show you the labels, you can see what I'm doing, I can bring you closer. Look, my lifting. I'm not flaky. Sorry, my chin is flaky. Sorry for that, but I can show you. That's so cool. So, yeah, I'm still working on the cocoon cardigan. I'm still working on Reckland. And I am so happy to have a new camera. Boop. So, <laughs> that's it for now. Um, I'm gonna try and be productive now. So, so, um, where was I? Yeah. Thank you for seeing <laughs> distractions. I've probably been looking way too much on the screen to say, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry, but I can see myself. So yeah, thank you ever so much for watching. Um, and I'll see you later. And myself. Let's bless.